Hey guys, Jeremy here, and today on Roblox we're playing some more Pokemon Brick Bronze. As you can see on screen right now, today for the first battle we're battling Mr. 3D Gog. Wait, Mr. 3D Goggles? No, that's Google. Yeah, go Mr. 3D Google. Five six. I thought I said goggles for some reason. But using a Garchomp, a Gardevoir, a Aerodactyl, no, Aerodactyl, Archeops, Salamence, Gengar, and a G Gyarados. I don't know which one of those is going to be Mega. Probably not the Garchomp. Most people don't like Garchomp's Mega. Plus the Life Orb Garchomp deals more damage than the Mega Garchomp. So the only good thing about the Mega Garchomp is it can tank more hits, but. Not exactly, I don't know, I think it's one of the worst Megas potentially, because the speed gets reduced, so I mean, it goes into a tank, which is still going to get one hit by Ice Beam, so no thank you. Into the, um, actually this is probably a bad idea. He has, Salamence gets Intimidate, right? Because he should have two Intimidators left, which is going to be annoying, but we should be able to um, come get through those, get Fake Out, let's not make the same mistake and freaking Fake Out a Pokemon with in a focus, I can't get flinched, so we're all going to use fake out on Pokemon that can get flinched so we don't make that same mistake because last video I did that, somehow still managed to clutch the battle but it should have, I should have not given up my infinite because he had a freaking chance to win minimize. So let me try and not do that again, earthquake that was pretty obvious just going to my mandibles after I get a little bit of damage, let's go for, I want to say he's going to swap out but I honestly don't know, I'm just going to go for the uh, Foul play. That did like half of my damage. That did a lot. Oh, it's got a life all blue. Okay, this turn I'm gonna go for a roost. I've got hiccups. Because I think the Garchomp's gonna KO itself. Yeah, it KO'd itself, so I'm gonna get a free roost if I don't flinch. Okay, there we go. So roost, just get all my HP back. And the leftover is gonna take effect. So there we go. That's a good way to take down the Garchomp, I guess. Just let it KO itself. Into the Archeops. Let's go into the um, Metagross. It's gonna go for a rock slide, obviously steel resists uh, rock slide or rock type moves and Megros is pretty tanky, it's only 30 damage. Now it's gonna go for Earthquake, although we are gonna get our Mega Bullet Punch off. It will, it might not one hit kill the Archops, but it'll definitely do over half hit points, which if you don't know what the Archops ability is, it's Defeatist, it's the only ability it has so there's no point in trying to get, to get around it. Defeatist is when it goes under half hit points, I believe it does 50, it gets like, it feels like it gets burnt, or we can just one hit KO it. It's like, um, I th I'm not sure if it's speed, I think I always used to say it's speed and attack stat was cut in half, but I think it's only it's the attack stat, so I think I got that wrong a while ago. Okay, into the Gyarados, um, I want to predict an Earthquake or a Crunch, which obviously, obviously, Mandibuzz is the best option for that. If you are wondering what this guy's rank is, it is. 2000, almost on the dot. We might potentially get to like 3450, so like halfway to uh, the 235k, or no, 3.5k, which obviously I want. Oh, he missed the Ice Fang, that's like a 95% accuracy move. And we won't hit the uh, Gyarados. So, we're playing smart, but we're also getting pretty lucky on top of that, which means I'm right now against this guy. I'm pretty much unstoppable. So that is great for that. He's gonna go for a Moonblast, so into the Metagross again. Could predict me and go for the Shadow Ball, because Gardevoirs are known to run those. Oh, the Draining Kit. Oh, it's a Thunderball. Okay, that's smart. Paralyze? No Paralyze. Let's go for... We have Speed at Meteor Mash it. Could have gone for the Bullet Punch. Gardevoir is pretty weak on the defenses. But just to make sure that if he does swap out, which he did, I could potentially get an Attack Increase. Oh, the, if I do get the Attack Increase, that'd be really nice right now. Come on! Uh, we outspeed it still, so we can just do that again. Mega Salmon's can't outspeed Metagross. Oh, Mega Metagross on the first turn. The second turn it can. But it's not even a Mega Salamance. Mega Gengar? I kind of don't want him to let... I don't, I don't want him to KO any of my Pokemon. If I can pull that off, that would be amazing. Chance it, I can't go into Chance If it is a Mega Gengar, I can't swap out. That's a bad idea. Uh, but we can go into the Mandibuzz. Because this can one-shot the Gengar, I'm pretty sure. Okay, it is a Mega Gengar. No, I can't swap out. Yeah, I can't swap out. The only thing that can swap out against Mega Gengar's um, ability, Shadow Tag, I believe is all the Ghost-type Pokemon. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure only Ghost-type Pokemon can escape this. He Dart Pulse might not Shadow Ball. I don't understand that, but Foul Play. 
Okay, Destiny Bond. Oh no, go on, just leave it at one hit point, please. One hit point. Uh, yes, we survived. Okay, Lynn, um... Let me think about this really quickly. Infinite could have speed it, but probably not. I can't swap out though, can I? Damn it, I can't swap out! Okay, Roost. I'm gonna wait for his to freaking... Oh, he's gonna withdraw the Gengar. Perfect. Into the Gardevoir. Again. Uh, we could actually hit it pretty uh, okay, because it is neutral in the dark, or Fairy and Psychic, but probably not a good idea. Let's go into the... Oh, is Chansey a good idea? Hmm, probably not. Let's go into... It has Thunderbolt, right? That's gonna do a ton. What do I want to go into, though, is the question. I won't say infinite can tank a hit. If I can try and not get any of my Pokemon KO'd, I'd be happy with that. Thunderbolt again. No Moonblast, which is surprising. I don't know why he's not going for that. Let's go for the uh, Fake Out. Okay, he's also going to go for the Moonblast this turn. Okay, that did a ton of damage. It got flinched. He should go for a Dazzling Gleam now. I'm gonna risk the Metagross, because if I if I can survive, if I can just survive, I'll be happy. Come on. Psychic. Yes, we resist that by four times. Perfect. Forgot the Gardevoir is a Psychic type and I just said it. Special Defense does get dropped, but we can Bullet Punch. Could have Meteor Mashed as well, but I want to make sure that I don't miss. It should one-hit KO the Gardevoir. It does. Now we can Bullet Punch the Gengar, and we're gonna win without losing a single Pokemon. I think that's pretty good, but did I get the guy right? Yeah. No, wait, no. I... I Look to agents uh, rank. This guy is 2400 rank, almost 2500, so I actually might get a little bit more rank. And bullet punch again. There we go, and we did lose a single Pokemon. Now that's what I call a great success. How much rank do we get for that? 25? Oh, almost close to 3500 rank now. So there, is it. there we go. For the first battle, I actually went a lot quicker, but then again, we didn't have to use our Chansey, which usually it drags out the battle when we have to use that. But anyway, that's it for the first battle. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying so far. Let's get right on into the second. Okay, now we are battling Agent 500J, which I uh, read his uh, rank for the last battle. But it looks like he's got Mega Slowbro or Mega Scizor. We do have the Infinite, which is kind of good against the Scizor, unless he starts Sword Dance and then that's going to be a problem. Um, he hasn't got anything to keep in our Pokemon, so I want to say this. Actually, is that a good idea, the Weavile? Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to go into it, that's the problem. Because <laughs> if it's a Weavile, it probably has beat up. Because some people like running that now. Maybe. Yeah, let's do, let's do the Lola Night Tails. I don't really start off with this a lot. It's probably not a good idea. He has a Pikachu, so probably running... Oh, he's going to lead off with that. Probably a Pikachu Orb. But it's not an event Pikachu, so it's not going to hit as hard. And it's not very quick as the event Pikachu. Light Ball, that's what it's got. Let's go for the... Um, I guess we'll Aurora Veil. I guess he predicted... I actually don't know oh, where it has fake out. Oh, that did, that did a good amount of damage. That's, that kind of sucks. I'm um, pretty sure we don't, shouldn't get KO'd here, so I'm just going to go for the Aurora Veil anyway. Yeah, there we go. Aurora Veil should tank whatever Pikachu throws at us now. Vault Tackle, tank it. There we go. Okay, so da damage by the recall. Okay, nice. Pikachu's taking some good damage. Unfortunately, I don't have my Doug Trio anymore, so I don't have anything to just tank the Pikachu, which does kind of suck. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go into the Chansey. Because also, oh my gosh, Chansey plus Aurora Veil? That's tanky as heck. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. What? Okay, this is this is gonna be a little disgusting. I should tank this very, very well. But it is a physical Pokemon. Oh my gosh, that did not do a lot. But it, let me count. That did like. I think the hail did more damage during that Pikachu's quick attack. That's kind of disgusting. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Seismic Toss. I'm predict. Oh, he's not gonna swap out Vault Tackle. Again. Like, what the heck? Okay, Seismic Toss. Get the Ch Pikachu out of here. So, I'm gonna assume it was a Light Ball Pikachu with Volt Tackle. I actually forgot that. I thought Volt Tackle was a event Pikachu move, but apparently it isn't. I'm trying, there's a, I think there's a move. I'm probably thinking of V Career for a Victina. I'm confusing it again. Into the Weavile. Probably has Low Kick, to be honest, so I'm probably gonna swap out. 
into the Metagross. It's probably going to go for the Fake Out first turn. I can go for a... Bull I'm just going to Bullet Punch it, I guess. There's a power... Oh, Power Up Punch set. Is it a Life Orb? It's a Focus Ash set. I'm going to go for the... Uh... I don't need to Mega this turn, although the defenses could have been nice, but I want to keep my Clear Body just in case he does something. Okay, Bullet Punch. It's going to have Focus Slash on it. Never going to take it down to one shot, so oh well. Night Slash. Can I tank that? I can indeed. So, pretty sure Mega Metagross is tankier than normal, than normal Metagross, so I don't know why I did Mega. I was, I, I, for some reason I thought he had an Intimidate Pokemon, but no, that was the last battle with the Gyarados and the Salamance. I, I got them mixed up, so I didn't even need to not Mega that turn. So I'm going to Mega, get my... Uh, Bullet Punch off. He might Ice Shard, I'll stop out. There's the Ice Shard for a little bit more damage, I guess it's worth it. Bullet Punch, taking on the Weavile. I could have probably just Meteor Mash, but... I know, we had the Focus Slash, because if it doesn't have Life Orb, it's a Focus Slash set for Weavile. Um, there's actually a, there actually is a Troll set for Weavile, I might show it off in the next video, but it's a... Uh, it's almost as annoying as a Chinchino. Let's just say that. So, if you, if you understand what I mean, you probably know exactly now, if you understand what I mean about Chinchino, you exactly know what I mean for that. Uh, this is probably a Toxic Orb Gliscor, so I'm going to go for a Meteor Mash, I think is a good idea. What do I do here, though? Hmm. Oh yeah, the reason why I tanked that Night Slash is because I have the Aurora Veil up. I keep forgetting about that. I missed Agility on a Gliscor. Could work. Not a hidden ability one, so we don't remember what the ability is for Gligar or Gliscar. No, I actually don't know. <laughs> That's uh, probably bad, because I'm pretty sure Gligar's hidden ability is immunity, so it can get poisoned, and then Gliscar's is toxic heal or poison heal, I'm pretty sure. Go on, hit. Nice. Attack increase? No? Great. Uh, I'm going to go for an earthquake, most likely. I don't, um, it's not a leftover set, a life orb set? Earthquake, predicted that. That was, uh, kind of obvious, to be honest. Let's go for the, uh, Toxic now. Okay, Ice Fang, shouldn't KO us, it's gonna do, like, that should be, like, a what? that should be 4-hit KO or 5-hit KO. Gonna get the Toxic off. He is... not a hidden ability, Gliscar. Tate still owes me my hidden ability Gliscar. I guess I'll just breed for another one eventually because obviously. Oh, Bam Pass into what? I'm gonna hit him with a foul play either way, but. Yeah, I mean, I bet when I was in my shiny ones, I was beating for a hidden ability one, but the game crashed like my shiny Dracha. So, I guess Tate kind of owes me a hidden ability Gliscar, but. I never got in here. Like, like 30s and 31s, except from the special attack, which was like 5, but this is not a special attacker, so that's great. Oh, it doesn't matter exactly. Into the Slowbro. A fast Slowbro? Why? That doesn't make sense. Wait, did I Roost? I did, didn't I? I guess I'll Toxic the Slowbro. He's gonna go for an Ice Beam or a Calm Mind, but if I Toxic it, I mean, sure. But the best thing is, Mega Slowbro has 30 base speed. 30. Chansey has 50. Chansey's faster than a Mega Slowbro. I'm pretty sure normal Slowbro is faster than Mega Slowbro, but Mega Slowbro gets rid of some speed for some more bulkiness. I guess that can't mind, and I can just um, Toxic it and then swap out into my Chancer. Obviously, Slowbro will speed it now, but I can tank a load of hits from Slowbro. So, I mean, shit. Plus, it's probably a rest set as well, so... Yeah, we can we can probably take this. We can take care of this. It's not the worst tank that we've seen, obviously. Minimize Chancer, I think, right now is the worst tank that I can possibly face, because my freaking luck to hit those things is insane. I swear, and plus I gave out, if you didn't check yesterday, yesterday I gave out 150 of them, 149. That's going to be insane if a lot of those start using, um, <laughs> start using freaking uh, Minimize on them. Because uh, obviously they have Seismic Toss, Heal Bell, okay that did a lot. And Metronome, just in case you wanted a Metronome set. That did a ton of damage, what the heck. Is it going to go for a rest I would assume? I'm going to just soft bowled again. He has rest, okay. Uh, let me think about this. Can I take care of Slowbro? Not really. Not really at all. Oh, great. Um, oh. 
cool. So his speed right now is like times three. Like 30 base speed times three should be like around base 90, but a little bit higher, so maybe base 100 speeds. I'd say uh, Ninetales can outspeed it. I'd say so at least. Um, gonna go into this. It can. If you rest, it's always asleep for two turns. I thought it was between two and five turns, but apparently that's completely wrong. That's like um, Yawn and Hypnosis, I believe. So let's go for the Encore now. Let's just get rid of all these rests ASAP. Encore. Okay, so we are faster than the Soul Bro, so that's great. Even with the two agilities. We needed three to potentially outspeed my Ninetales, but I am EV train speed, whereas Slow Bro shouldn't be, so maybe not. Let's go for the Aurora Veil now. Just get, let's just get rid of all of his um, rest so he can't heal, so then I can just toxic stall him, and then I'm, I'll be happy. <laughs> so that'd be great. Okay, Aurora Veil, come on. He should wake up this turn, I believe. He woke up. Oh no, back to, to, to rest. I mean, not my problem. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to use Slow Bro, I guess. <laughs> Stupid Encar. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I love using Encar, okay? I love using this. Okay, um... Do I just decrease this special attack now, I guess? I mean, sure. I need to wait for this Encar to wear off so I can use it again, but Rest has more PP than Encar, I believe. I think it's got... 10? Whereas Encar has 5, so I need to go into my Politoed at some point and Encar it even more. Encar rendered. Wait, what's that? You want another Encar? Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Hey, there's the end car. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, start moonblasting again, just so I keep taking it down. If I can get a quick, I'll hit through it. That'll be really, really nice, because that should do a ton. But Oh, special attack fall. That's even better. It's because now if I do run out of end cars, my chances should be able to tank a few more hits, and then just, like, keep wasting its PP. So that'd be great. This could take a while. I am gonna be here for a while anyway. So let's Moonblast and keep going for those uh, special attack decreases. The more special attack decreases we get, the more Calm Minds he has to use. Oh, we got another one back to back. Okay, now he's should be on plus zero or yeah, plus just zero. So right now he has no pluses on this special attack, but he does have plus two special defense. But obviously Mega Bro has a ton of physical defense an okay amount of special defense, so it should be good. Come on, give me another. When does his uh, car run off? This turn? No, it's next turn. Okay, Moonblast again. I'm pretty sure it's still got... It's still under the car. Just gonna Moonblast again. There we go. Okay, woke up. Go and rest again. Can't... Oh, wait, it ran out. Oh, wait, he just screwed up again, Lil. Why would you do that? I'm just gonna Encar you now until the Calm Mind and just keep Moonblasting you. <laughs> it just screwed itself even harder this time. I mean, if I, if I was resting, he's still on full HP, just waiting for my night house to go down. I didn't see that the Encar wore off, though. Get my Aurora Veil wore off that turn, though. Now I get to just Moonblast him to death. So, I mean, that's even better for me. Because I was, I was kind of stuck if, it was keep, if I kept resting, because I couldn't exactly do too much to that. But what I'm, I'm kind of struggling right here, though, now, because I'm not doing a lot of damage. So, I need to like, get a critical hit through these car mines, otherwise I'm kind of screwed. Come on. Come on, so close. Okay, Encar wear off this turn. Or is it next turn? Okay, roar off, war off this turn. Let's Encar it again. So, that's one turn. Okay, nice, car mines. Okay, I think that's all of our Encars, right? We have one more. Okay, let's go into the Mandibuzz, or what? The Chansey, maybe? Yeah, let's go into the Chansey. The Chansey might be a better shout, potentially. Okay, do that. Let me go for a Seismic Toss. I guess I'll try Seismic Toss. Can't mind. I'm pretty sure it's, uh, its thing runs out this turn. Oh, it's so close, but it's Incar ended. No! Okay, back into the Ninetales. Okay, it's gonna rest now. Okay, it's gonna rest. Oh, damn it! I needed to go into probably something else. I kind of screwed that up a lot. I was hoping that would be enough hit points, but no, it's still got a ton. Okay, it's gonna rest again. Okay. If only it didn't bounce past the agility, my chance would be faster, which would be still funner. Um, we can set up the Aurora Veil again. I might as well do that. Aurora Veil. 
Okay, get that off. Um, he still should be asleep for the next turn. So I'm gonna try doing this. Actually, I probably should have encored him and then... Actually, that doesn't really matter. Encore again. Encore him into the rest. Now let's go into the Chancer. We don't have Minimize, which does suck, but we should be able to tank a few hits from the Slowbro. I hope. If not, that's gonna really, really suck. This thing can't- oh wait, no, I can't even critical hit this thing, I forgot! Oh no. Do we go into the Politoed? Because I'm pretty sure we still get our sped on the Politoeds. I guess chance is wait for it to PP, run out of PP for rests, and then I guess we'll just have to Toxic stall it. Okay, woke we'll up. It's gonna rest again. I guess we can start chipping it down now. Okay, but remember, he does outspeed us, so when I'm- so that's, so that's zero turns right now, I believe. I think that counts as zero. So let's go for a Seismic Toss. Okay, that's one turn. I actually did a good amount. That's two turns. That's three. Wakes up, he outspeeds me. In a side shot, that's actually going to do a lot. Now we Toxic. Now he needs to rest it off, otherwise he's going to get KO'd. <sighs> but he'll outspeed me. Let me try this, because this is going to be bad. Because he's going to go for- is he going to side shock me or rest? Side shock, okay, good. Talk is going to do a little bit. I wonder if Foul Play can hit it enough. Come on, hits it enough. Oh, he still speeds me, I forgot about the agility. Damn it, who who agility bound passes to a slow bro, a mega slow bro especially? I don't get that, to be honest. Okay, that did not do a lot. My Royal Veil wore off, that is not good. Go into my, oh my gosh. Do I lose against this thing now? I think it's got Scald, right? Okay, I'll speed it this turn still low. I mean, it's still asleep this turn. I'm not gonna speed it. I'll play. Uh, too bad you can't critical hit this thing. Okay. So, it rested. Still got another turn of sleep, I believe. Yeah, still got another one. Okay, so I'm gonna hit it again. Ooh, this is gonna be close. He's gonna wake up. I'm just gonna foul play it. I don't even care about the toxic. He's gonna rest. Scald might live it, but I doubt it. I yeah, I I doubt that that would happen. Hmm. Well, let's try and brute force it then. Fake out. Did not do a lot at all. Okay, this is not good. Uh, close combat or flare blitz. Which one does more damage? Pretty sure close combat does. Uh, all they do the same. Would I want recall damage or to get... I guess I'll just, uh... Close combat it. Come on! Be enough! Damn it, he's gonna rest again! Or he's just gonna take me down, right? Is he gonna heal? Rest again, oh my gosh! I hate this slow bro right now. It wouldn't be a problem if my Chansey outsped it. Because I could have KO'd it that one turn that he went for the rests. Okay, swap out. Into the Politoed now. I'm gonna get rid of all of your rests now. I think he's very close. He, he might have PP'd up all of his rests, which could be a problem. <laughs> so uh, now we can Encar on this. This is why I prefer rest to slack off. I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't have Substitute on Politoed, okay? Why does everyone think I've got Substitute on Politoed? It's my Encar set. Okay, I get rid of that. It should wake up this turn, I think. I'm pretty sure it does, but it's gonna rest again, so... Chancer... I'm just gonna keep Encar and all your rest. I want, the, I want all those things gone. Okay, woke up. Has it got any more? It has. Okay, I'm gonna go for a heal real quickly. Oh, wait. It doesn't work. But it's... Oh, okay. This is good. But it failed. I'm gonna hit it. Next, is it run out of... Okay. 
Soft boil. Rest, okay. Now it's asleep again. So that's, that's like 3 PP, I think, right there. Let me heal. Soft boil, get some healing on. Nice. Slow bro, slow bro's encore ended. Back into the polytoads. I don't have anything to crit, like to super effective hit this guy. I don't have any grass type moves. I don't have any electric type moves. Hmm. Unless I, if I had the thunder punch, freaking infinite right now, that would be so good. I would have ended this a long time ago. Uh, slow bro, I think you need another encore. I'm just, I'm wasting all his vest if you can't tell, for him to start struggling, so then I can toxic stall it. So get that off. I think it wakes up this turn. It might, if not, I'm sure. I'm not gonna damage it. Okay, time to- Oh, we ran out of PP. Okay, now we can Toxic. Oh, it has- I encored it low. How I encored. Did, did I not encore it? Because I want... I think I just screwed myself. Oh no. I thought the Encore affected it. But I didn't use it, I think. Hmm. I'm out of Encores. Okay. This slow brew is very difficult to take down just because it outspeeds me, unfortunately. Scald. Should take me down. Okay, he's gonna Psy Shock my... Can I just Toxic it? That would be nice. Do I have anything that can... I, I don't think I have anything that can Toxic it now except for my Chancer. Oh, my Politoid got KO'd. I forgot about that. Okay, I need to Toxic it now because it can't heal. But I'm pretty much dead if I try this. Okay, Toxic. It's gonna Psy Shock. Don't Critical hit. It Critical... Of course it critical hit me in that time. That was like, well, one turn I didn't need a critical hit on me. And it critical hit me. That is nice. Oh my gosh. Fake out now, I guess. I screwed that up so bad. Okay, flinched. I hate slow bro so much. I need to get like Thunder Punch Infinite now then. I'm probably not going to battle next until I get this Thunder Punch. Okay. I guess I could burn it, but there's no point in doing that. I guess I'll close combat. Give me a critical hit now, please. I can't. Critical hit it! Oh my gosh, I hit Mega Slowbro right now. Especially with agility. God damn, I can't even outspeed it with my tanks. Side shock. Okay, rip the infinite. Now it's gonna scallop my, um, my Metagross because I can't hit it at all. All of my moves are resisted. Uh, because I can't critical hit it. I'm going to get one-hitted. Oh, I would have had it if I just encored him into the struggle. But I for apparently didn't encore it. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm going to have to go and watch that back. Because I'm pretty sure I did encore it with my Politoed and then went for the Toxic. But apparently I didn't. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, unless I thought... Unless I clicked it and it said they ran out of... Actually... I might have run out of PP on it, but I don't think I did, right? Because, uh, yeah, there we go, rip. Wait, did, did that outspeed my Metagross? I didn't even see that. I might... I don't think that was... I lost 114 rank for that battle. Oh my gosh, what rank was he again? Where, where is his name? Right there. Damn it. Okay. What I need, what I learnt now is that I definitely need a freaking Thunder Punch on my Infinite instead of Fake Out, so I can deal with stupid Pokemon like that. Ah, <sighs> if I can get the, oh, but then I need a Hidden Ability one as well on top of the Thunder Punch, so that's going to take me a long time to breed. Oh, I need the Thunder Punch one so bad right now, because honestly, if you can't tell, I can't deal with Pokemon that are pure Water types. Actually, no, I can. I can just close combat with my infinite because that does a ton of damage. Or just then headbutt with my Metagross. Whereas, what a psychic type Pokemon. Mm, the only thing that can hit it super effectively is my Mandibuzz. But I'm pretty sure every water psychic type off the top of my head, which is Slowking and Slow Brew, don't remember if there's any more. 
are all special attackers and are pretty tanky, so foul play doesn't exactly do anything. Oh my gosh, if it was a slack offset, would have won against it. If I encored it into the rest again, would have won against it. But I'm stupid and I forgot to. Damn it. Oh. I think we can go for another battle, so I guess I'll <laughs> be back in the seconds. Okay, now we're back for the third and final battle. I lost a low rank, so that means I gotta try and win a few times to get that rank back. But now for the third and final battle, we are battling Tay Tay023. And by the way, I see you, Domino Man, in the chat. If you keep spamming battle on me, you usually I block people like that because that spams the chat. Obviously, it's not good, but anyway. For the third and final battle, we are battling Tay023. Probably a Mega. Yeah, Mega. Oh no, Mega Medicham. Aerodactyl, uh, Crobat, Malotic, Donphan, and a Frostlast. Frostlast probably has definitely a bond with a Focus Sash, if I'm... I probably might be wrong about that, though. Um, I want to say this. He has a few physical attackers. Maybe Politoads. Um... I'm going to lead off with the Chancer. I'm pretty sure something on this team might have knockoff. I don't know, low Crobat. Okay. He might not go for... He might, he's actually going to go for the Poison move. I probably should know that. Then we're going to the Metagross. He might exit... No, I mean, not exit the U-turn. But probably should, should go for the Poison move this turn. Or, or Brave Birds. Don't really get the Brave Bird, but wherever. Okay. He hasn't got any Dark-type Pokemon, does he? I don't think it does, so let's go for the Zen Headbutt, should do a ton of damage, plus super effective. Staying in, so it is going to be a U-turn set, there's no way a Crobat, no reason a Crobat should stay in. I don't think it gets like a fire type move, like Fire Fang. I don't think it gets Heat Wave, unless I'm, I think I might be thinking about the wrong Pokemon. U so it is a U-turn, I can tank that obviously in the Metagross, neutral damage, plus Metagross has a ton of defense. Into the Donphan, which uh, I'm pretty sure that is very tanky. Yeah, it's very tanky. I'm pretty sure that is a gr pure ground or maybe ground rock. I could hammer arm it, but I don't know how fast it is. I gotta look this up. I don't know how fast it is. I don't battle Don fans. Uh, Don fan. Let me check up Don fan. I don't really see these a lot. Um, uh, not Smogon. Let's try, um... Oh, it's a pure ground, so I was gonna hammer arm it. That's a good shout. A load of defense, very low special defense, weak to water, grass, and ice. If I had to guess, probably Earthquake. Oh, it does have knockoff by level up 19. That's probably why people are running it. Blastless Sun and Moon set, I might be completely wrong. Um, This seems like a good idea, because if you're going to knock off, I don't really need the light clay too much. For this battle, I, I doubt I really need the... Um, I really need the... Aurora Veil. Knockoff. So I did predict that right. Which is fine. Good job I did look up because I would have thought his finger was a rock ground type, but nope. So yeah, Hail is up now. Can go for the Aurora Veil, but no point in really doing that. I'm just gonna Blizzards. Does he have anything to tank this? I guess the Malotic. He could go into that, so do I Aurora Veil it now? I'm gonna Blizzard. I'm predicting him to Earthquake. Yeah, it's okay. Stayed in. Okay, Donphan is down to critical hit. That was great. I could have used that critical hit for another time, but no. Use it against the Pokemon that's going to get one hit anyway, so... <laughs> there we go. Okay, taking that down. Medicham is Psychic. Oh, uh, do we, don't we outspeed this thing? I guess I'll Moonblast it. Pretty sure we outspeed. It might go for a Protect, which if it does, I can Encore it into that, I think. Oh, wait. This thing might have Fake Out. I didn't think about that now, did I? <laughs> Whoops. It might have Fake Out. Come on, don't. Yeah, it does. Damn it. Oh, but what we can do... What is Medicham's speed? That's a 100 base speed, right? Because if he did, he just screwed up. Uh, Medicham. Let me look up the speed stat, because I keep forgetting the speed stat of a few Pokemon. And it would really help if I didn't forget. Okay, 80 base speed on the normal one. 100 base. I still have speeds. So you, sir, are going to... Do I attack it on Encar? You're gonna stay until the freaking fake out, okay? That's what you get. You're staying into that. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> okay, that, that went well. Um, I guess we'll moonblast it now. Moonblast. Yeah, that's what you get. Gonna withdraw into the Malotic. Malotic predicted that right. 
get the moon blast off, maybe get the special attack drop, but it doesn't really matter because it's probably a competitive one, or competitive ability one. Now we can go into, it's probably going to scale dry or ice beam. I guess I'll go into the Politoads, tank the hits, it might go for a water veil or whatever that thing, what, aqu aqua ring? Scald, okay we're good against that. Could encore it, get into the scald but probably not a good idea. I'm gonna go for the ice beam predicting the crow battle, the um, oh it's got a toxic, damn it. Okay that's okay. So it, the Martek does outspeed us so it's got, probably got, it has to have 30 or 31 IVs in speed then. I think. Try to ask me my Politoads. Okay, now let's uh, go for our own Toxic. Okay, into not in the Crobat, please. Not in the Crobat. Medicham. Can we Toxic this thing? Okay, we can. Okay. You're gonna go for a Fake Out again. So I can go into... Uh, what's it What's it like? Is it tanky or not? It's probably a Speeds Attack. Or speed Special Attack. Medicham. Cham. I think I've been calling it Chan. Okay, Pokemon Database. I don't want to get screwed up against this thing. Um, it has like 60 HP, 85 defenses. So, yeah, pure power. Raises the Pokemon's attack stat. I'm pretty sure that like doubles it. Um, weak to Flying, Ghost and Fairy. We don't have anything that like, has uh, Flying or Ghosts. We do have Fairy on our low and nine times, but I don't want to swap into just that, right? Uh, let's try the Metagross. Metagross might be able to like one hit KO it. I guess we'll try this. Because it's going to fake out again. Yeah, the blizzard fake out, that's obvious. Actually, do we Zen headbutt, and headbutt this? I want to say yes. Because we all speed it. If it goes into Malotic. Meteor Mash is going to get tanked, then Headbutt won't as much. Um, Crobat can one hit KO or take it down to a Focus Sash if it has it. Probably a lot leftover set low. Insular Malotic, so there we go, predicted that Zen Headbutt is going to do a ton. Actually, I, should, I can KO this thing now. Okay, Zen Headbutt again. Don't miss. Nice. Okay, Malotic is down. Definitely a smart player to look that up because I need them to know. Worst defenses were like. Into the Frost Loss. It's gonna go for. Oh, do we need the Metagross though, don't we? It's gonna go for like a Shadow Ball if I had to, had to guess. So I can go into the Chancer, I can Toxic Stall it. Or I could go into the Mandibuzz. The Mandibuzz should be okay against this thing. Uh, it probably has like Destiny Bond, Shadow Ball, Ice Beam? Oh no, what did he predict me doing? I guess he predicted my Mandibuzz? I can tank another one of those though, I mean, sure. As I'm just gonna foul play it, then I'll swap back out into my Politoads. But yeah, Frostlass is extremely quick, if you don't know. So foul play it, take it down to that lower HP. He's gonna have speed me low this turn, so let me go into my Metagross again. He might predict this. Come on, don't Shadow Ball. Oh no, he predicted that as well. Can I tank it? No. Okay. It has Ice Beam. Politoed. Let's go for the Toxic. Toxic here. It's gonna Destiny Bond. I'm just gonna Toxic, so I'm not gonna hit it at all. I'm not gonna hit that thing at all. So get out of here. Okay, I guess I'll just anchor it into the Toxic, oh, the Destiny Bonds. Oh, I need to go into my chance to get rid of the poison, I forgot. And my Politoes poisons. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, Chansey, you gotta go out and get rid of this poison ASAP. So I can just get rid of that, because Politoes doesn't have anything to heal itself, except from water type moves, which I've already beaten his, um, his, uh, water type Pokemon. So yeah. Oh, it has Thunderbolt as well, I didn't know that, but it has the exact same set I said. Destiny Bond, Ice Beam, Shadow Ball. Didn't know he got Thunderbolt, but good job we know that now. Heal Bell, let's get rid of all of those. Ice Beam, don't freeze. Okay, there we go. Heal Bell, get those off. He's going to go into the Medicham next. That's uh, fairly obvious. He's going to probably go for a high jump kick. Shame that we don't have Protect. So there's a Medicham. That was kind of obvious, to be honest. We're going to go for the Fake Out the first turn. 
So again, obvious. We could just play a Blitz with the infinite, but no, just good shout. What does he have left? Medicham? Aerodactyl and Crobat. So three physical attackers. He had two. What was his last one? Yeah, Trust Last and um, Milotic. What was his last Pokemon? Donphan. He had four physical attackers, like, I think, like me. <laughs> well, I guess right now, Chansey is like just a tank, so. Oh well. Um. Ah, no. Seismic Toss. Sure. Miss! <laughs> no. Damn it. Okay, well, he high jump kicked, it can't toxic, it can't fake out me anymore, so that's okay. We can go into the Ninetales and incar it. I'll just Moonblast it, which is the better alternative. Or we could actually. Hmm. Do I just Blizzard, though? That could also be a really good shout if I Blizzard it. Predict the swap out. Predict the swap out. Yes! Into the. Crowbat, yes! We predicted the swap out. And the Blizzard will one hit KO it. Perfect. Oh, predictions. Ooh. Got all of those predictions right there. Kind of worked out great. Although the Aerodactyl kind of messes with my team a lot because I don't have anything now to take it down like my meat Metagross. I also said Metagross. Uh, Mandibuzz can just go and die, I guess. So sure. I guess I'll go into- I'll go into the one Mandibuzz. Ninetales is really, really strong, I'm just gonna keep her alive. Probably a Focus Slash Aerodactyl. Iron Heads. Rip the Mandibuzz. Oh, okay, it's a Life Orb set. Pretty sure that can KO my... Can that KO my Politoed in one hit with a Thunderfang? It might not have it, so let's just hope for that. Scalds, come on, live! Oh, it has Fly. Huh? Huh? Why do you have fly on a redactyl? That doesn't make sense. I don't understand that at all, but I guess I'll take the little bit of hail damage, although I'm going to take it as well. D will this one hit KO me? Please don't. I don't know why you have fly on a redactyl. Oh, oh, well. That didn't really work. Why do you have fly on a redactyl? That's weird. I've never seen someone run fly on a redactyl competitively, but I think we're going to win. Which, I completely forgot to show this guy's rank. Um, Tay has 2,900, almost 3k rank. So he should get most of that 100 rank that we just lost back. So that's also great. Oh, shoot. Go for the high jump kick. Fake out, okay. Damn it, I hate the flinch so much. Um, okay, Toxic is starting to build up. Although we can one... Actually, wait, both our last Pokemon outs both our speed it, So we should be good now. Zen Headbutt. Oh, it's, oh, Zen Headbutt, Fake Out, High Jump Kick. What else would it have? Not Return. Probably not Match Punch. I wonder what this else this thing gets. Um, Fake Out. Let's see what else it gets. Oh, I'll speed it. Oh, that did a ton. Yeah, Mega, 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 Mega Champ is not very tanky at all. Toxic is going to take it down and give him the GG. Come on, please give me a good amount of rank back. I just lost 100 from the stupidest battle. 48, I guess that's like half, maybe a third of what we just lost. But hey, all that means is that we have to do more battles to get to our 4k goal. I'm hoping to get to 4k. I'm trying to think, if I do like three battles every single day, and I might, I might be able to like win 100 rank every single day in the next six days of the next week I guess I might be able to get to 4k rank a lot if I don't lose any battles at all and if all the people I do battle are around like 2500 plus so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a comment if you see more Pokemon Brick Bronze or any games on Roblox and like always I'll see you guys next time